So I finally got my hands on the newest Narciso Rodriguez perfume, Musk Nude. Let's talk about it. So this perfume is actually so new that you might have a hard time finding it, at least I did. When I first found out that it was launched, I went looking for it and it wasn't even on the Narciso Rodriguez site. Eventually I found it on sale at the, or for sale at the Sephora in Italy, which wasn't going to be helpful for me at all. And then I found it ultimately at Macy's. I don't know if it's for sale elsewhere, the Narciso Rodriguez site lists all the usual suspects, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, Macy's, but those other stores did not have it when I looked. Macy's eventually did. This is in the For Her line, and I have two others from that line. I have For Her Pure Musk, and I have the Musk Noir Rose. And all three of these are new to my collection. These two have been on my list of perfumes that I've wanted to get. And this one I added to my list as soon as I found out it was coming out because it just seemed like it was going to be a winner for me. The packaging is like the basic Narciso Rodriguez for her packaging. It's a just a cardboard box and it's in the same color palette as the bottle. It's kind of a light tan nudish color. And the bottle is basically the same and the top on the top. Uh, the glass looks like it's a little kind of dusty pink to me, but overall it kind of gives that kind of nude vibe. And it's frosted glass and otherwise translucent. Obviously the perfume itself is clear if you can see that. So I love Narciso Rodriguez perfumes. I was very excited about this. I was also able to try these finally. I'd tried these before in store, but I did not add them to my collection until recently, and I was really enjoying wearing these. I find that I like this one probably the best of the ones that I have in this line so far, and I'll, I'll get onto this one in just a second. I do have a few of the other Narciso Rodriguez perfumes, the ones in the cube, and my favorite Narciso Rodriguez perfume of all, even including all of these, is the one in the red cube. I think it's the Rouge um, is what it's called. And so I love it. It smells amazing. It's like sweet, musky, beautiful scent. And um, I, I really enjoy that one. Okay, so let me get to the point on this one. I was expecting this to be maybe a, maybe like a more floral or more girly version of this. Or maybe a less floral version of this. I don't think it's either of those. Now, why I thought that is just, you know, that's just what I imagined it to be. I was surprised by what this actually is. So let me first tell you the notes, and they are white flowers, jasmine, pink pepper in the top, musk, orange blossom, damask rose in the mid, tonka bean, patchouli, and cedarwood in the base. The same perfumer that made a lot of the other Narciso Rodriguez perfumes, including my favorite, the Rouge in the Cube, um, made this one. And I think her name is Sonia Constant. Um, so she's she's the nose behind a lot of the the popular ones, not just for Narciso Rodriguez, but she's she's done several other ones that are pretty popular. But for Narciso Rodriguez, she's done several, including, again, my favorite. So I had high hopes for this. What this smells like to me is not Narciso Rodriguez. And I think that's what is my least favorite thing about it. What I love about Narciso Rodriguez is the musk, right? That's you, you come to Narciso Rodriguez for the musk. It's great when they add layers to just give it something extra, but there's always this like, it's almost like there's a cloud sitting on top of all the other notes. And that cloud gives it a lightness. It gives it um, a little bit of a sexiness. It definitely gives it a clean 
feeling and a freshness, uh, not citrus fresh, just clean, fresh, refreshing. Um, and then sometimes it's mixed with a bit of sweet. Sometimes it's mixed with vanilla. Sometimes that's maybe sweet or not so sweet. Sometimes it's mixed with a little floral. Sometimes it's got woody notes that give it depth and maybe even a, a tinge of masculinity. To me, this has, this is a woody fragrance with a tinge of musk rather than a musky fragrance with the depth of woody notes. That is what I get out of this. The sprayer is interesting. I'm going to spray it. It is, it's, it's a nice mist, but it's very, <laughs> this is going to sound horrible. It comes out very wet. It's like, it's almost like it's spitting on you a little bit. It's it's not that it's like large drops. I mean, maybe it is large drops, but it kind of comes out in a big like splat and it does not last very long. And what you get is you get this somewhat floral. So I think the jasmine and other floral notes, like they jump out at you. And then you can, it really dries down pretty quickly and you can get like the tonka bean and the cedar wood and that sort of comes to the front. And the musk in this never really dominates the show. And the musk is my favorite part of the Narciso perfumes. So what I thought was I was going to get like all the fresh musk muskiness that I love in Narciso Rodriguez, but maybe like more feminine, but not quite as floral or rosy as this. Instead, I'm getting like an altogether different floral woody base perfume with like a little, a little touch of musk. So who would like this? If you're a collector and you love Narciso Rodriguez, this will be interesting for you to get your nose on and for you to try it. It might be interesting enough for you to add to your collection. I don't think it will be redundant with the things that you have. Now, there is one other um, of the For Her Narciso Rodriguez line that I heard. This one maybe is replacing. I don't even know where I heard that. I think it was... Um, maybe on Fragrantica in the reviews, people are speculating like where this is coming from and what they're up to in adding this to the collection. Narciso Rodriguez for her, just for her, I guess the original, that one, which I don't have, seems to be rose, peach, musk, amber, patchouli, sandalwood. And this one, well, I've already given the notes on this one, so maybe, I don't have that one in front, me, in front of me to smell and to tell you if they smell enough alike for this to maybe be something that they're replacing or phasing the other one out for. I also have, just have no idea if that person knew what they were talking about. So my point is, if you have that one and you're wondering if this will be similar to that, I can't help you with that question. But overall, if you collect Narciso Rodriguez, at least in my collection, this is not like anything I already have, even from Narciso Rodriguez. However, this is not the Narciso Rodriguez that I love. This is, this is not the kind of perfume that would make me want to collect the Narciso Rodriguez perfumes. It's the musk, and I don't get enough of that in this for me. So if you're a collector, maybe you want to add this to your collection. If you like Narciso Rodriguez overall and you're tired of the musk, I also read this in a review. It was like, when is Narciso Rodriguez going to do something that is not musk? Um, this might be what you're looking for. If you're sort of over the heavy dose of musk, try this. If you're looking for this to be something along the lines of what I was expecting, you might be disappointed. It is not a bad perfume. It smells good. It just doesn't smell enough, long enough, like the Narciso Rodriguez that I love. 
See, I'm smelling it now, and I the musk is definitely there. It's just not there the way I'm used to it being there for me, and maybe it'd be totally different for you. So I like it. If I did not know this was Narciso Rodriguez, and if I had just smelled this in a store, I think I still would have picked it up. In all honesty, I think the smell is worth owning. Independent of whether like you're just a fan of Narciso Rodriguez. But it took me a minute to really be pleased with it because it wasn't what I was expecting. But it was it, I, but I never thought it was bad. It doesn't last super long. So I will say I, I will give that disclaimer. It it's okay. You'll get like a couple hours of it, you know, pretty strong, pretty good. And then it will really go down to a skin scent and stay very close to you unless you keep reapplying. Um, so keep that in mind as well. All right. That's all my thoughts that I've got on Narcisa Rodriguez uh, Musk Nude. It is a pretty bottle. It is a pretty fragrance. It's a little different than what the usual might be, but that might be exactly what you're looking for. So check it out.